Hey guys. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this beetle tonight. Um, let me get situ situated. Trying, trying out the no headphones thing today. I don't know if there's gonna be some crazy feedback or anything. Um, we'll see. Um, let's open the beetle and I think I, get, I have some feedback from peeps that I need to look into as well. Um, I think I just need to make the head smaller pretty much. Hey, Belfaster, how's it going, man? Set up a fancy new thing. So everybody gets a little, little ding when they join. It's cool. See how it goes. Hey, thanks for the follow, Benthos. Yeah, I have, um, I was messing around with this, um, little program that like helps you with streaming and stuff and so there's a couple commands too um, that do some fun things but wait see how that goes um but anyway so this guy uh i I reduced him in, in poly count a little bit and I made the legs a little chonkier. Um, that's for some comments and I'm wondering if I like that or not. Um, I don't know. What do you, what do you think? What do you think of this guy so far? Um, let's hide this one. This is kind of where it's at. Um, Do you have any thoughts on this? Do you think it's like... I think the legs are too short or the head is too small or... Um, any of that stuff. I think, um... I mean, I, I think it's okay. Uh, can't really... I'm not really sure what else I would... What I want to do to the geometry, I think it's more about the texture, really. And I, I kind of like the texture, really. I, I just probably need to clean up some bits, do some of the, the mandibles, and clean up the legs a bit, maybe. I think, but uh. So, in order to do that, I want to um, let's try out fancy new three D coat. Still in the free trial on this one. Um. How's the audio, by the way? Because, like, uh, I think I said it before you, you jumped in, but um, obviously I don't have my headphones on today. And I don't know if, like, there's going to be some weird feedback or anything, uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. Give it a go. Um... 
Um, so, what we want to do is, the thing looks pretty good. In my mind, they would have maybe some more patterns on the main parts of the shell. But that's probably more the feature variants than just the base variant. Sounds good. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point about the, the patterns. Um, I definitely need... To, I was thinking about it. Because um, definitely the Fire Beetle is going to have that. And I was thinking it would be cool to make some sort of black... Black Beetle with like red markings or something. Kind of like a Black Widow looking thing. Um... Where is import? Open import. This is what I want. Uh, paint beetle. And make sure I have the, the the right one here textures import map beetle okay I think that's the right one Kind of hid the controls in this one. Whoa. Don't like that. Where's the... Um... Texture of environment. We're all very It's always been, or uh, it's always pretty ominous looking when insects have markings that look like other features and attempt to ward off predators, like dots just resemble big fake eyes. Yeah, it's um, black with red marks is a good combo. I would definitely scale the mandibles up uh, as you move forward. Yeah, um, well, I don't know if I'm going to change it per variant, but I could make it larger on all of them, I guess. Because um, um, the reason being, I don't want to like, uh, I think we want to probably just use the same rig for all of them. Same mesh, really. I'm just going to change the texture, so... Um, Okay. Let's not use that brush though. Actually, maybe an interesting texture. is the swap color button here. Swap colors end. Hmm. Like, 
change some of the hotkeys, I think, in this version. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool, though. I kind of like that. It makes it look like it's got some texture to it. Like to get rid of this grid as well, if I can. There we go. Um, See how that looks, I guess. Oh shoot, this this isn't even the right. Um, I need to maybe redo the that one mesh because this guy has kind of changed a bit already. So, uh, let's see. Duplicate this and hide it and. Uh, And has the mirrors applied, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, apply that. Move this up a little bit. I should just move this. Ah. Easier to do. only and find the folder for this ink beetle and then we need to re-import this Oh shit. Um That's not the right one. Come on now. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that the texture, I think that's the right one. I just want to make 
make sure I'm on the right one instead of Okay. And my food's here, so nobody wants to watch me eat. Um, so I'm going to turn my camera off. Blup. I'm probably going to have to mute myself in between bites and stuff and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm a little hungry. Um, but yeah. What's for dinner? Uh, we got some... We ordered some stuff. I uh, got like uh, I got a little chicken burger sandwich thing and some some chicken tenders on the side. I felt like having chicken today, so Lighting is not as, as flat as I would prefer it to be. I wonder if there's mm. all the full screen mode. This is the best thing I'm going to find here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to this guy. And this was good because I well, we made a little mistake on the, the leg. On the other one. So... Sounds good. Just uh, had dinner myself. One of the Hello Fresh recipes. Oh wow! From one of my promo periods, spicy o curry sauce ramen. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't like to cook though, so that's that's the problem. Like I would like to eat better, but. I feel like I wanna I'd rather do other things than cook. Like make beetles. So it's it's difficult. Difficult balance. That's fair. I love to cook but hate the grocery shopping part. Yeah. We get a lot of stuff delivered um, with through Amazon stuff. So, I really the only time I go out grocery shopping is um, when I want like want to get some like French bread and stuff from the grocery store to have for lunch. Um, it's kind of uh, something I do frequently. So, and you can't you can't really there's no real good like fresh French bread options on uh, Amazon, so. This, um, <clears throat> this software is really cool for painting, but like the one thing I wish I could do is send the texture back and forth really easily. Like 
in real time. Um, back to the, the one in um, Blender. But I have to do like this whole whole song and dance here. That looks good though. What formal step would you call the stage you're in now? Um, and what stage in the overall process is that? At least from my end. Um, it's just one of those things that until you see the sauce, the sausage being made, um, really don't know how much work goes into making the model from scratch. And you will eventually make the rig. We'll hold off on the animations. Yeah, so this would be considered the texture phase, the texturing phase. I have the model, you know, um, made and UV'd and I'm, I'm kind of in the process of creating the texture map for it. Um, and since I'm just doing the, the one color map, um, you know, there's just that, like, this is just one side of it. If I were doing, um, like normal maps and any sort of fancy um, real time or uh, photorealistic or whatever materials. Um, that would still be the texture process, but I would probably be doing it in a different way. Um, and so the step after this would be, I guess you just start rigging and animating it at that point. So we're kind of like two thirds, three third, three or we're three fourths through, I guess, the whole way. This is where you could use something like materialize to fudge things, like metallic ad effects. Um, I'm not sure what materialize is. I haven't heard that before. Um, but like, if this were like a, you know, a modern AAA workflow, I'd probably be in substance painter right now and I'd be doing a kind of a lot less manual painting and more kind of playing with sliders and layers and stuff um wow this is jumping around a bit here am I using the right Um, yeah, so to get this style, um, it's the workflow is a little bit different than kind of what is the average thing to do these days.
Hey, um, BDC Retro. Welcome to the, um, the channel. Sorry, I was, I was taking a bite of my food. Um, yeah, this is, um, set up to animate. It's low poly. Um, uh, and can you, uh, you can have the mandibles bit and wings open and so on. Um, the, the mandibles, I can have them open and close and stuff, but I didn't build any, anything for the, the shell to open up for the wings and stuff. So he's just going to have the shell closed all the time. Um, I could do that if I wanted to. Um, I don't think that that's what we want to do with the beetle for the, the style. Um, but if I'm wrong. Uh, Sean wants to do that and I can, but I'm going to have to go back and re like kind of alter the geometry a bit and that's going to change the, the UV map and I'm going to have to kind of do the, um, the texturing all over again. So I don't think, I don't think he wants that. So it should be fine, but like Hopefully that's something that um, is communicated sooner rather than later, so I don't have to redo a whole bunch of stuff. But I think I think we're going in the right direction with this. From last I spoke with them about it. I think Ollie mentioned uh, a long time ago, so I got it and played around with it. Materialize basically lets you snatch any image, turn it into a texture with the. Uh, use height normal map or you can just apply those effects to the texture you already have um <clears throat> sorry um, Belpaster, that sounds like, um, I've, I've had, I've messed with programs that do that sort of thing. Um, it was, um, the X normal, I think was what I used to use for that. And it would just convert, you know, an image or whatever into a bump map. And there's actually a website, uh, where you can just upload your stuff and it'll do that too. Uh, but we're not really using, um, you know, those sorts of maps. Um, I think Pattis has been fiddling with some of that stuff in a little bit, but um, I think uh, th those will be like really sparse. Like the majority of stuff going to be, oh shoot. Um, the majority of stuff's going to be just like a color map and stuff. Um, I would like to add a little bit more, um, to stuff, but, um, I don't want to overdo it either. So I think it'll be a case by case, but, but generally, um, we're not really using those. So I don't, I don't think I need to use it right now in this case. But I, I could probably, if I did use it, I could probably use it on the shell and stuff to add a little bit of, um, you know, bumpy and definitely on the legs and stuff. But also, like, I don't know how much you'd really see it, um, especially with something that's so low poly. That those sorts of maps don't really um, look so great on lower poly stuff. Could you talk a little bit? about the UV process. I hear Panis talking about that too, and I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. So, the UV map is kind of like, um, it's like a wrapper on a, on like a candy bar. If you unwrap, if you like cut the, the wrapper, you know, kind of very strategically, or even like a present uh, on like a Christmas present or something. Um, 
if you cut it very strategically and then kind of lay it out, um, it's basically a 3D or a, a 2D representation of the 3D object and like where the color stuff and everything goes. So that's what a UV map is. Um, this is kind of what the it looks for the beetle. So I have the, this sort of section right here. Um, this represents um, the geometry on the head. So you can see that um, this is what the geometry actually is. And then this is what the geometry is like cut up to be flattened so that I can add color to it. And underneath you can see that that's where I've painted the, his face. And it's only, you'll notice it's only half of it because I only need to do half because it can be mirrored across. Since this isn't like a, a player character or anything and you know, I'm not trying to make like one eye, like an eye patch or anything crazy like that. He's, it'll be pretty symmetrical and it, it works out that way. So, so it, you know, it's, he's a pretty simple little guy and he's like mirrored all the way down. You can see that um, I actually don't even have the um, other half like connected yet. So, um, so that's essentially what uh, like UV map map is. It's basically like um, telling um, the color, like the texture, where to land on the three D model, basically. So you can color it. Um, if that makes any sense, yeah, probably not the best exa um, explanation, but. Um, Belfaster says, I'm not sure if it's beneath someone who's doing all the list from scratch or a handy tool for everyone, but I thought it was neat. Putting that touch of white on the legs really made them pop. That's a really great trick. Yeah, thanks. Um, I definitely like it's sharper in, on the other one. I'm, I'm probably gonna, I wanted to like, kind of, it's a little softer now. Um, I'm probably going to add in the, the sharpness back on top of this though, somehow. Um, but I think at, using this little brush to add some texture makes it look like it's um, a little more bumpy and stuff. Um, and Nick has joined the chat. Hey Nick, how's it going? I'm a little bit behind in chat here, sorry. I'm trying to like eat, eat my dinner as well, um, so. Is it sort of like a cutting process so that you only show what's needed and can throw out what's not being seen? More or less, yeah. Like, um, if we look at the head here, uh, and if I, if I, oops, I hide the rest. So if you notice the red lines here, the red line is where I have um, made a cut in the geometry so that it because like when you when you unwrap something, it's going to try and unwrap it um, flat. But if it's like a round surface and you don't cut anything, then it's going to like distort crazily because it's trying to flatten something, but it needs to like kind of unfold. So if you don't cut anything, then it can't unfold and it's just going to look, you know, kind of, kind of broken. So, um, by making these cuts, I can kind of cut it in a way that it'll lay out in a nice, um, kind of in a nice way for me to texture it easily. So, um, I cut off this, um, this whole back of the head because you're not going to see it as much. So um, I kind of took that whole side off and just threw it over here because the most important part is the front of the face, obviously. So um, now that I've cut off the back, I have a little bit more kind of space to unfold this, um, the front of it. And then I cut a little bit under here so that it will kind of unfold like that bit a little bit more because it's his little mouth thing kind of is a more of a spherical shape and stuff as well so 
Um, this kind of laid out pretty nicely. It's a, kind of a simple example of how that works. And you know, there's other cuts and stuff. That's what all the red lines are. Just basically cutting it up in a way that makes sense. Um, and generally you, you'd want to do it in sections as well. Like I have the mid section as its own little piece, like up here, and I can just do that by itself. And the, you know, the, the shell and the legs, each leg has its own little bit. So just section it off and I can go through and, you know, isolate stuff as I need to. And then in the, this program here, I kind of exploded the model a bit so that the like the legs and the body aren't like intersecting because um it'll be it would be way too much too way too hard to like try and paint like the, the legs if they're like inside his body and the same with the head like i still want to paint the back of the head even though you're probably not going to see it so much um i still want to make sure it looks okay like the transition and stuff um and same with the, the body here and it's just easier to paint stuff that you can get access to, basically. Um, did I read that already? Yeah, I did. Um, so it's like cutting reliefs. Exactly, Belfast. That's actually what it's called. Um, when you're when you're cutting, um, like like this one right here would be. Um, a relief cut so that it'll like unfold um, kind of naturally and flat and stuff some like there's some cuts like this this bit like where I cut off like the whole bottom of the, sh the body in just one section and that was just because I wanted to isolate that so I could paint it by itself if I needed to and you know it wouldn't interfere because there's no there's no reason for it to be part of the rest of it but there's also like relief cuts like this one in particular where um it's not gonna isolate again but um like under here like it's not separating it's not separating the little mouth bit from the head it's just kind of cutting it so that it unfolds that island um in a in a more natural kind of way so so there's like relief cuts and then there's cutting cutting in a way so that it's like its own piece basically um yeah and uh i should i don't have it do i have it still here i don't have the texture i had i have like a a little kind of checkerboard thing that i use when i'm uving as well that um helps me identify you know parts of the body and stuff that kind of distort in a way I don't want it to when I'm when I'm doing that stuff um, so if you look in the the previous um, video you go to the the VODs on YouTube or I think they're, they're probably on Twitch as well um, I have the um, when I'm UVing it I have the checkerboard on there and you can see kind of what I mean okay um, I'm gonna take another bite of my food here. Is it pretty simple to take a model like this and repaint it to create a new um, species for, say, a different part of the game world? Yeah, I actually already have. Um, is he still here? Um, let's get rid of that one, I guess, because I don't want him anymore. I have a second one already. I have like the little red one um it's just kind of the start of the fire beetle so this would be like the scarab and this is the fire beetle kind of the start of it anyway um and obviously it's just a, a simple color change 
but it's it's pretty quick and easy to do that in Photoshop. You just like since I have um all the bits kind of um you know all the bits on their own little island, I can like just kind of select around this guy and I can just change this color if I wanted to or I could just change the color of the shell by itself if I wanted to. That's another benefit to kind of separating them like that is you have more control over, you know, altering things and that sort of thing. And especially edges, like that's one, one big reason I, I have these two bits, um, like the, the shell and the body, the abdomen or whatever it is as like, it could, like they could have easily been the same isle, on the same island like connected but i separated them because i wanted to make sure i could get a really cool like edge right here and also like i kind of put in a little divot on the, the geometry there as well so it just kind of made sense um but yeah the hard part i'm i was having with this actually was the the shadow there because it can also be kind of hard to get the edges of two islands like that sometimes as well but. Sorry if there are like um, pauses in between. Um, like I said, I'm still eating my dinner and stuff, so. Didn't have time to really do it um, before I started. Cause I, like, my schedule is like si at six or starting in at six and stuff. And I kind of wanted to stick to that. I was a little late anyway though, but it's fine. Hey Nick, if you're still around, um, I added some commands to chat. You should totally like um, do like exclamation commands. Let's see if any of those are fun to play with. Also, I should probably. Oh wait, you are a mod in my thing. Cool. Okay, um, so we've got kind of that going, and I want to add I guess Nick bailed. Bailed on us. <clears throat> Abandoned. Sad. Okay. Um, I guess. Actually, now is a good time to export this. Um, hey, Nick. Dude, you should totally type, um, exclamation commands in chat and see what kind of 
cool commands and stuff I, I added in there for you guys to play with. I was gonna, I think, um, I need to get like affiliate before I can start playing with channel points though. So I need like a couple more, um, what's it called? I need a couple more followers before that unlocks or whatever, I guess. Um, that looks kind of cool. Hide this. Oh shit. It went for the zoom. I thought you were gonna go for the Sean, but okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Maybe I don't need like the highlights, the, the crazy highlights anyway. like that for now and I'm gonna jump on the mandibles I haven't really done anything to those yet probably don't need it too, too much to them anyway though I don't want to put your mind past uh, the work at hand but the entire Eminem world wants to know can you tell us what the next mono will be? I can, actually. Um, so after the beetle, let me pull up the list again. Oh shoot, I'm not logged in. Um, it is that one, right? I need to log into this. Um, it's not, Skeleton is not on my to-do list, but, um, I kind of was thinking about doing it anyway. Um, because Sean was like waiting, he, he's very particular about, um, Sean's very particular about the skeleton. And I think he kind of wanted to wait for, um, the character models to kind of roll out or whatever, so that there's kind of some, uh, you know, they, they kind of meet, match up, I guess, or whatever. But I was thinking maybe I just, I'd just go for it, you know, and if he doesn't like it or whatever, um, that's fine. Um, but so the next the next three that are on the list for me though um, crocodile jackal and the elemental the, the pets for the, the elementalists and stuff but I kind of want to wait for some concepts on the the elemental pets and stuff um but I could probably start on the crocodile and the jackal if I wanted to but I might, I was thinking about maybe just taking a crack at the, um, they are iconic for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Uh, would be cool if the skeleton matched the size of the player characters. Um, BD, one of the things that I want to try and do is actually get in, um, skeletons for each playable race so that like when a an ogre you know turns into a skeleton he's like a 
an ogre-sized skeleton rather than a human one. Um, I was thinking about this. Um, have you seen Goblin's concept? I would. It would be cool. Do something based off that non-armored one. Yeah, definitely the non-armored one. Um, because like it would be cool to just do the skeleton by itself, and then we could just put armor on it that like is wearable. You know, just take the the player character armor and just put it on the skeleton. And then when you kill them, you can loot that and you can actually wear it. I think that'd be really cool. <sighs> um, Belfaster says, to be fair though, I don't think every skeleton in the world has to be derived from the player race living there now. If that makes sense. Um, we're talking about skeletons from like non-player characters like a like a rat man or a were rat skeleton or something yeah skeletons of animals would be cool they're not awesome undead deep dwarf i don't know how that undead deep dwarf will go though <laughs> he's kind of already undead or something isn't he um do they even have skeletons being drop time so i don't think your skeleton would have to go to waste or if it didn't match one one play race could just be some ancient skeleton that climbed out of the ground based on bad stuff happened just change the color of the eyes yeah um the only problem with that is consistency with the art um i don't want to just make a skeleton and then we later on make like the skeleton and then we just have two skeletons that kind of look kind of artistically different I don't think anybody wants that. Um, so, I mean, there's that's kind of why there's that hesitation there. Um, I need to turn wood. What's the capacity on this? That's too high. Um, so there's that, you know. Um, I imagine, like, if my skeleton was a flop, then he would just... Well, we could maybe use use it for like props of like some random skeleton on the on the floor of a dungeon or something because maybe that doesn't need to be like matchy matchy so much i don't know On the deep dwarf kind of indicates, oh, is there, is this one of the bad ones? Sean mentioned a lot of the art is going to be outsourced. Do you expect to handle animations in-house? I think um, the animation, like, I don't, I don't know about the animations yet. Um, we're sounding like we're trying some stuff. Oh man, that doesn't, that corner doesn't, it's not like that oh shit Pattis is here welcome Pattis uh oh that's not the right color it's a Pattis party now stream just leveled up and everything I know you're working on some a while back but I mean full scale Procedural animations on some of them, and I'm here for it. Yeah, um, we, we there's a little conversation about that in one of the previous streams. Um, the Ollie wants to like play around with um, some procedural animation stuff, and if that works, then we'll probably do that in house, I guess. But if that's not the case, I th I think we might. I think Sean did mention something about. Um, having the art house do some animations or something. Um, and I don't know what, if like the procedural stuff will, um, you know, work on 
all the, the non-player characters and stuff. It seems, I guess it maybe could, but it kind of sounds like it's more on the player character side. No. Um, if that's the, if it only works on the players, then we'll have to do something about the beetles and the rats of the world. Whether it be outsourcing or um, otherwise. No, I don't. I don't know the, like the details of that yet, or anything. So. Um. Probably shouldn't be messing with that face too much. Um, because what do I need to do here? I don't want to straighten this little little, little guy here. Took an accident three hour nap. <laughs> Ripped my sleep schedule tonight. That sucks, dude. I've been I've been there before. Nice use of the ding sound effect. Thanks. I want to incorporate that as well and make a subscriber goal progress bar. That looks like the EQ. Oh, that would be a cool idea. Yeah, I um, I want to get affiliate just so I can play with like channel points and stuff. But like beyond that, I, I don't know if I really care too much. Um, so you guys should totally um, follow or whatever it is on here. So I can so I can do that. If you're not already. Um, but yeah, dude, I should um. I'll link you like a thing, later. Um, you can you can play with that for your stream as well. Um, the thing I use. Um, I set up a cool command that nobody has tried yet. Sad. Um, but I won't spoil it, but yeah, it's, it's there. You, uh, do the searchy search commands and such. There you go. Oh, Belfaster found it. I don't know if I barely caught him. I don't know if anybody saw it. He was very fast. Fail trombone? No, dude, you got it. <laughs> so I don't have a sound effect for that yet, though. Um, I was try I was looking for like a time where like Sean would be like, "Hey," so I could like pull that out and use it, but um, I haven't found a good one yet. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> this, this little funny little thing. Toasty. I'm kind of afraid to mess with this too much because like it already looks pretty good I just want to like straighten some of these but I also don't know if <clears throat> if it's only looking crooked because uh I think it's just looking crooked because of the low poly honestly maybe I won't mess with that much I'll just clean this up
I feel like Sean should say shiny instead. Well, man, whatever I can get him to like, I can capture like a good little audio snippet, I guess. So it comes down to that, really. Um, so like I said, I was trying to find like, um, like a hey or something like that for him to say. And there was one where there was, I was, I was kind of going through his VODs and one of them was like where he goes, um, says, Hey Nick, but like he says it, he says Nick right after the Hey. And it's like, it's too close together to like cut out of that. So, and he can't just be saying, Hey, to Nick all the time. He's got to say it to everybody, you know, got to share the love. So. That's the predicament I'm in right now. And uh, Sean, if you're watching this later on YouTube or whatever, um, it's made with love. You know, I'm not, I'm not picking on you. I love you, man. We're just having fun. I need a bit of space to cut it out and do a fade out so it doesn't clip. Yeah, def exactly. Yeah. So I think the next next stream we have next um, next uh, on Thursday when Sean's streaming, we should try and like get him to say like stuff, like kind of like one line things or something. I can I can sneak those in. <laughs> oh man. Get like a whole bunch of them and just have it like say random things when he pops up. Hopefully he doesn't catch up on your stream. Well, if I keep, because like I was, I was telling you this before, I was kind of jealous that your VOD got up so quickly on YouTube. So like maybe I should just like ditch the, because I've been recording it and uploading it at 4k and that's why it takes longer to get up on there but i'm like i'm wondering if anybody even really cares maybe i should just you know do us a, a lower a lower quality um and just get it up faster i don't know how many people are even watching it at that resolution or anything Yeah, I, I record, like, I have a, I, I was, like, at one point trying to get really into the streaming thing, so I, like, I have, like, a separate PC for recording and stuff, so I just have it, like, stream and record at the same time when I'm, when I'm going, so it would just do it at 4K or whatever, and um, I would just upload that. For the higher quality but i don't know if it's worth waiting like it takes like three four days or something to, to get fully up there and if nobody even cares you know that it's that resolution then it's probably not worth it
Hey man, it takes a few hours to upload and process mine. Yeah, it takes it takes a while for mine, like days. So, like nobody even is even watching those anyway, right? So, not like I'm a YouTuber or anything where people are watching that sheet on their TVs and stuff. Oh, I had my microphone muted because I'm a I'm a smart boy. Um, what do you guys think of uh, the beetle and stuff so far? Because um, there was a little bit of um, kind of notes about you know the chonkiness of them and stuff, and I did lower the poly count. I'm um, gonna made the legs a little bit thicker. And I shrunk the head down from what it was. It looked, the colors look, I don't know what's going on in, in 3D code there, but the colors look a little bit different. Like this is more washed out than it is in here. That's a little annoying. It's not consistent like that. Uh, I 
like it a lot. Sweet. It's like the shader is rendering them like it was different. Yeah. I don't I was trying to like figure this is the new 3D coat, but honestly, even in the, the previous 3D coat version, it did, it looked a little bit like the um the lighting and stuff is a bit weird. So um Yeah, actually you know one thing I forgot to do is actually throw it into Photoshop and kind of clean up some stuff in there. You know what? You're right, Pattis. There it is. Yeah. I, I wish I had thought of that before. Yeah, so I can, um, there's the different uh, viewing layer, like options and stuff. So I think I was looking at, um, I was looking at smooth, smooth shade and that was, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, that's, that's way better. Thanks, man. <laughs> That was like a IQ 9000 move right there, which I thought of it. Yeah, that's another thing I want to, like, I want to come up with, like, more, like, fun things to do with, like, those commands and stuff. So, I think in this particular situation, I would, like, in the, in the, an ideal situation, I would have some sort of cool thing to, to do right now. Since you helped me with that. But I have nothing right now. All I can do is offer up another Sean, or if you really want to, you can zoom in. Um, so I'm kind of done eating now, so I'll put my blip, my little blip back on. just dealt with stuff like that a million times with students yeah yeah I uh I'm a nub apparently I have fallbacks on certain types of issues from all the hey what's wrong with this questions yeah that's definitely that's definitely helpful I bet you're really good at troubleshooting stuff um just in your own your own stuff because of that. That's a really dark shadow right there. <clears throat> see if we can... I don't want to get it to be about the same as... Just all of these are over here, so I just want to... Kind of merge all these into one sort of color. But yeah, it also forced me to learn visual scripting. What kind of visual scripting? Like, um, just, uh, Python for Maya? Or at least more of it? And I probably would have forced myself to learn on my own. I can like sort of read 
code and I mean more like I don't know I've I've kind of been exposed to it a lot more recently um but I don't think I could really write anything without relying heavily on some sort of documentation or anything like that Actually, this would probably be a good time. Where's my to side left side and then project project into Photoshop. I can kind of um, make sure these are all sort of the same. That's way too strong. Let's change that brush. Pretty strong. It's not the right button. Um, or at least, oh yeah, I already read that bit. Cool, cool, cool. Professional streamer reads chats. This would have been easier if I had this on a different layer or something, and I just kind of did a drawing, it drew the ed the shadow all the way across in one one layer or something. But we're beyond that now. Okay, and then we can save that bad boy and pump it right back into this. Doesn't look anything changed. So subtle. See if I can do this one without messing anything up as well. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I immediately messed up everything. That's great. That's kind of how it goes. All right, I'm gonna focus so I don't fuck up. And then I hit like the wrong button, like immediately off the bat and just everything's on fire. So 
That's how that goes. even like add a little bit of a highlight or something I can kind of some of these kind of hard edges and stuff um, are due to the poly count on the mesh. Ooh, that looks nice. So I'm just wondering how much of it I can um, soften with the texture without it like bad or whatever. That's really dark there. This shadow is like really dark on the back here. I'm just trying to like make it um, not just kind of not that dark because it's not dark that dark. Oh shit, that's not great. Um, just consistency is what I'm trying to get out here. I need to maybe lighten it up a little bit. Kind of got a glowy butt now. Am I still looking at the right one here? Flat one. It's very bright. And it looked really kind of blown out and stuff. Probably in, in game with the that sun. That's all. Texture export PNG. I should maybe lighten up this area to it's pretty dark um, I think kind of where I went wrong with this one was I, I started off with color I um, I didn't start coloring things on the other ones until later actually hey Ray Welcome to the stream, bro. Love the colors, man. Digging it so far. Thanks, dude. You know, you know, if you if you want to get a better look, you can always zoom in using the fancy zoom command. I mean, if you want to, I'm I'm not pushing pushing nobody into nothing they don't want to do or anything. But I mean, I'm just saying. 
put those commands in there and you guys can use them. Just want to get like a closer look here. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! He did it! He zoomed in! You can see it all now. Didn't even have to look it up, too. This guy knows what's up. I, I don't have too many other ones right now, unfortunately, but that one's fun. We need to add some more brown into this, I think. Or like a darker brown. Darker brown. Said. That's a little bit better. Is this 3D Coat? Yeah, this is um, the, the... I'm just trying... I don't know if you saw, but 3D Coat came out with like a newer version. This is... Um, uh 2021 um i'm just on their trial trial version right now obviously because they don't they got to pay for the upgrade and stuff and i'm like mm, do i need it so i'm trying it out seeing if there's anything that is worth spending money on because i still have the the last one um but i don't know if i use it enough I'm using it a lot more on, on this project, actually, but, um, it's like, all the features I, I'm using are, like, in the last one, so, I don't know. But, it's definitely a cool program, nonetheless. Um, I definitely do like it, so, but, for this version, I don't know, there's, there's, they got some cool, like, other stuff they added. Um, I haven't even touched that stuff anyway, so. I don't know if this music's too loud. I need to add that color to the back of his head too, I think. Make my little bug guy though. Little beetle. Mm hmm. What else? I could I should probably add some shadow to this because this is where um it kind of intersects right here. I definitely want some stuff under here, so probably this area. Need some shadowy. Warcraft two music so good. We'll have to pl do a play test soon. By the way. Dude, I'm down, man. Like, uh, for Monsters Memory or Warcraft 2. <laughs> oh, cool. Party scenes pick. Yeah, you're, you're messing with that on stream today. Um, I would like to, it would be fun to get like, um, like a, like a legit. Are, are you talking about just a, like off stream play test or, I mean, either way, it'd be cool to just get everybody, um, kind of like. In voice and stuff and do like a real like you know play like a go at it you know what i mean i 
feel like there's there's kind of that element that um we haven't really done yet, honestly. Probably don't need to paint this part so much because not really gonna see this. Either or. Yeah, I'm down, dude. Um, I think I have an enchanter. I'd be re I'm really curious to see how, um, like, crowd controlled stuff go with that. I don't think we've really played with that too much. You definitely, I think you were doing the monk or something one night. Um, you don't need an enchanter too badly in, in those situations, but. A little, little one-off playtest off stream even work for me. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with either. Um, it's just a matter of like figuring out when to do it so everyone's there. This is getting kind of contrasty. Dune Scarab. What kind of markings and stuff would a Dune Scarab have? Let's add a new layer. I wonder if there's any cool, like, um, any of these cool brushes would be any use. Um, this, this one does. This. The last, um, how do I even do this? Let's see. Um, name. The last, um, version of Pretty Coat could, it had like those blend layers and stuff. Layer blending. This is probably where it is. Um... It's block texture. It's not making it easy. I thought it was just like, uh, right here. Well, it up here somewhere. Add layer with normal texture. Well, there goes that idea. Where's the? I bet it's somewhere, and I'm just not seeing it. It's right in front of me, isn't it? Invert. 
transparency, surface material. Standard bond. Here we go. It's right in front of me. Overlay. Holy crap. That's that's doing quite the thing. Um, that's not what I was trying to just do like the It's changing the whole whole thing. Not what I want. Hey, welcome to the stream. To Tojo Dozamine. Yeah, I'm close, right? I'm I'm terrible with names. Um, hey, weird question, but is your username Japanese? I don't I don't know. Um my name my username is actually I my one of my characters from EverQuest and I got the name from like a random name generator. So or more or less like I hit the random name generator and then I kind of tweaked it a bit. Um but yeah, it might be it's I think um I think I've like googled the name before and I've gotten some Japanese looking something or others, but um, I don't know the details of it, unfortunately. It's just it's just my my name that I stuck with. And this is also an Iki random name as well. Just a funny coincidence. Zukin means picture book in Japanese, which is fitting. Really? I didn't know that, and that's friggin' awesome. Thank you for telling me that. That's cool. That is very fitting. I like that. Um, and actually, uh, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's not in um, this username, but like the surname I usually go with for my character is like an Indian, an Indian name, which means like water snake, because my character was a, an Ixar. No. That's an interesting coincidence, though. That's cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually... I'm gonna project this again. Edit. Um, into Photoshop, and then... I'm going to get like, we're going to, why you do this to me? Okay, well, I'm going to Google search like concrete or something. Um, looking up concrete because I'm gonna do like a Let's look for some uh, crazy looking one here. Oh, okay. So we got a little bit of concrete texture here, and then what I can do with this is. can do some sort of something with it. Um, and I just need to get rid of it off of the rest of this here. And then I'm going to save this back to, actually I'm going to, oh damn, 
I'm gonna merge these down. Call it the same thing, and then I'm gonna save this. See what that does. Bam! That's cool. Maybe it's a little bit too obvious though, but um Let's try also I could like try stretching it as well. I think Pattis mean foot in one language, but I forgot <laughs> which. Um my name has no meaning, but my paladin is called it. That's cool. It doesn't know it doesn't have to have a meaning. I didn't even know mine did until you told me that actually. What site do you use for text references? Google.com, my friend. <laughs> um, I just Googled concrete. This actually looks like it has like some wood. This actually looks like it is wood. Or maybe it's like wood that concrete that has wood planks pushed into it or something. Um, but I'm actually going to stretch this bunch too. I don't know if that looks worse. Thank you. The multiply is what I want here. Save that again, see if that will help us. Hmm does not respect the mask there, so. I use cgtextures.com. Didn't mean that to be Link. Oh, that looks kind of interesting. Although that's probably too I don't know if that's too much detail there or whatever. I'm gonna try that out though. Export. Um, save it for our exporting rate. I don't know about that. Oh, they changed the site URL recently. It's just textures.com. Interesting. I don't like search for textures um, too frequently, so um, I'll definitely, maybe I'll bookmark that for the future, but like, I don't have like a place that I go to because I don't go there like search textures too frequently um i don't know i like this do you guys like this does this look weird i think it looks maybe i just need to like reduce it more better it's a little messed up back here though
messed up that middle section as well. Windows. Is this it? Lighters. I want to get my texture map up again. No polling. Hmm. the why is this so difficult 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 lemon difficult maybe it's fine paint UV definitely not anyway I don't want to spend too much time looking for stuff. I want to paint stuff. So. I'll just go ahead and uh, paint it here. I also don't like, it's still really dark in there. Maybe it's just cause it's so, such like a, a thick black line down the middle that it's just so noticeable. What's a good kind of medium color I can do with this?
I feel like he kind of looks the same. Looks the same as he kind of he has this whole time. Um, I'd like to be able to do something kind of oh, that looks like trash, by the way. Damn. Um, maybe I'll undo some of those. I can still do this, right? I kind of like that though. Uh, I bring this back in. I need to bring this back in. Texture import. Okay. Maybe I just need to start smudge smudge tool and some stuff here. Of course, I can't. Can't do that in Photoshop because there's a sponge tool here, right? I was messing with it before. Here, it's right here. Smudgy smudge. Not bad. like being smudged in the center though I guess smudge am I doing this right hmm push this down first Radius, city stroke. Doesn't seem like it's very strong. It's a weird smudge. Hmm. Well, that's not a great tool. Unless I'm using it wrong. brush thirty right now yeah I'm, I'm the only thing I'm worried about is like to do any sort of painting over this thing I guess to some degree it's not a bad, big deal um, losing some of that detail, but I also don't want to lose all of it. So. I kept it on a different layer though. That would have been good, I guess. Hmm. I still have the original one, I wonder. If I date this one, I think this is it. Yeah, so I have this one still. This is the um or 
whatchamacallit. Um, what do you call it? This is the, the original version of the, the texture. Words. Words are hard. Capacity is not doing what I wanted it to do. like I'm hopping around like three different software here for this texturing thing and if I did it like a smarter way I wouldn't have to and this color looks pretty off too so it's pretty green I don't know if um we like that collectively Maybe I'll just grab that, um, concrete and put it in here on its own. I'm categorizing today's trade skill discussion. It was an interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna get a Google Doc posted. Yeah, I I had a, a work meeting during most of that, um, but it, when I kind of jumped in at the end there, it looked like there was like a boatload of stuff, which is cool. Um, Some of the ideas were actually pretty cool. Like, even if they weren't like trade skill related, there were some cool ideas in there that um, I think we could use in some way still. Multiply what I want. Hey, Vinthos. How's it going, man? I kind of prefer the original painted look before the texture was overlaid. Maybe some scratches on the chitin in a few places for interest, but I dig the pure hand painted look. Yeah, I think you're you're probably right. I should probably just ditch this, honestly. Um Let's get rid of this. Sean's probably gonna be like, ah, oh, get rid of that. Anyway, so you're probably right. I was just trying to add like a little bit of like kind of 
Pinterest or something. It looks really bad now. I kind of like destroyed what was there. Let's see if we can revert some of this. Get rid of this. I want to save this mask though. Yeah. Let's do. Yeah, I was in class during, it's hard to jump in and out myself. Yeah. Yeah, let's just stick that, that like translate, that transitions better. Um, anyway, I, think I just need to, I just need to clean this up better, maybe. I feel like I should do something here as well, though. So, let's reimport this. Merge down. Um, and I was going to actually. Let's try and see what this does. can paint over that again and uh, definitely someone here maybe I'm just trying stuff so don't worry it's gonna look good in the end I'm sure whatever that looks like all these weird brushes and stuff
of fresh are we on here? Capacity lower. Just blend some of this a little bit better. So I was playing, since you guys like mentioned that turtle wow thing, um, I, you know, I hopped on there and made my little guy. Um, and I'm kind of like a little, I made like a couple characters and stuff, just like running around and checking out. Um, you know, since some of the stuff is different or whatever from classic, seeing what's up. I'm kind of into it, so trying not to get too too into it or anything. Pretty cool though. I don't know if like um, it's something I like play seriously, like I did P99 or anything, because I don't know if I care that much about WoW, but it'd be cool to like check out dungeons and stuff or something at some point. I don't know. Kind of typical stuff I do in WoW. So let's see if this will project properly and not like mess up the uh, nice. Are oh, you level seven, dude? It seems cool. They're doing a good job. I stopped it. I got my priest to level five, and then I stopped because um, Nick said he got the level. He was gonna get to level five, um, and I wasn't sure. I kind of thought we were all gonna meet up or something. But if you're just gonna blow past everybody like that, bruh, I'll just keep going. See how it is. That's all good. I was just like, I wasn't sure if we were planning on playing together or not. Um, or whatever so I was like holding off just in case but I definitely did want to like keep going with them so I did that first and then a few quests <laughs> at the next area and then put on the brakes but not blow past everyone yeah what's like if i remember stockade is like the the first dungeon we can actually do um 
but I don't know, I don't remember what level that is. Like, whatever level that is, I'll probably get myself to and then see what, where everyone else is at. Level 20, hmm, that's, that's, I thought it was, you're probably right, um, I thought it was, for some reason I thought it was like level 10 or 12 or something, but maybe that, that one in Ogremar is lower level than, Dead Mines is 15, okay, and Dead Mines is I guess the lower level one, I thought Stockades was like the, the low level one. The yeah, Ogremar one is the lowest in the game, I think. Yeah. That's unfortunate that they didn't, like, give the Alliance kind of an equivalent. Oh really? Is it? Can you can, you can group with? Because I noticed that I could make like horde characters on the same account or whatever or server. Um, I didn't realize that you could like group with them and stuff. Can you like just go go into Ogremar as like a a human or something? I might try that later see what what happens I don't know why it's so hard to get like this these two seams to line up properly. With the color. Please, size jitter. Really? There we go. That looks that looks better. Um I 
we do the same for this. Nine o'clock. Oh, girl, look at that ass. Let's see how this looks. Export. Looks okay. The only thing I'm like, I'm not really liking the shell. It looks too flat. So it's either I want to paint on um, some highlights to make it look shiny, or I want to add some sort of texture. Um, I guess I could. I can find like a good angle to. this and then maybe I can draw some kind of striation line type thingies on it. Oh, that looks kind of weird though. It's not gonna like line up super great either, I think.
Yeah, that looks pretty not great. set up, I guess. Not sure how easy to, it would be to do, but looking at some real beetle examples, they do have lines like that, but they are comprised of tiny dots, not necessarily overlapping. Hmm. What kind of beetle? Or are you just searching beetle? Generically, not lines basically, but dots are very small. Yeah, you know, like this one. This was kind of what I was sort of leaning towards this kind of scarab looking thing they're just like grooves you know more or less this one just has like kind of um One's very shiny. And maybe I can just get away with, um, I just need to paint the highlights better, first of all. Yes. Need to. I tried this like already though. Um, just did a bad job, I guess. I was trying to make like this part shiny. I guess I just need to. Started with desert insects. One that stood out was the desert ironclad beetle. Oh, that's something entirely different. Yeah. I have not seen that before, but that's not what I'm really going for. That looks more like reptilian almost. 
to this guy. That's a crazy looking beetle. But yeah, it's it's also nine o'clock. I'm kind of running out of fuel here, so. Um, I feel like I haven't really made much progress on that, so that's uh, that's a little bit of a bummer, actually. Yeah, anyway, so I'm kind of dr starting to drift here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping my little um Oh, my little commands for the links and stuff. So you guys if anyone out there is watching and I don't know um this is a beetle for one of the games or, or the game we're making oh that looks weird there's like a little thing on the screen um yeah you got a sean threw up a sean i need to make that pause a little bit longer i think because i keep missing him um or i'll just have to have, find the sound effect but yeah so making a game called monsters and memories this is a, a little buggy guy for him for that and yeah, that's what i've been working on and if you're interested um, we have a Discord, we have a website, um, and I, I recommend uh, checking it out. And if anyone wants to follow me on Twitch here, um, that'd be cool. I definitely want to at least get affiliate so I can start playing with channel points and stuff. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty close already, actually. Um, I wonder if I can look at it now. Where am I at? Yeah, so I just need, um, I'm at 35 followers right now. I need 50. And then I just need like one more day of streaming. So I'm pretty close. And then I'll be able to make some cool um, channel point stuff happen. It'll be a lot of fun for everybody. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my spiel. Um, I'll let you guys let you guys go. I'm gonna head off to, to bed and stuff. I'm definitely gonna work more on this guy in, in the future and next streams and offline and stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me and everything. I'll catch you guys next time.